Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm a VCU Health Dietetic Intern. Let's make some delicious black bean burgers. First up, you'll need the following ingredients. The first step is adding our rinsed black beans to a medium sized mixing bowl and you want to make sure your black beans are rinsed off very well. Then next we're going to add our oats in and then you can mash this mixture with the back of a fork in your mixing bowl until you get a mushy kind of sticky consistency. Patience is key at this step. But once your desired consistency is reached, something that looks like that, you can stop mashing them. And next, we're going to chop our onion. When I'm cutting an onion, I like to remove the ends of the onion and then the outer portion of the onion, the shell, the rough kind of yellowy part. And you can also cut your onion in half to make this a little easier. Once that yellowy peel is removed from your onion, you can start cutting it vertically. And as you can see, my cutting board is slipping and sliding around and I forgot to put a wet paper towel underneath. So I will soon do that, you'll see. <laughs> but taking my chef's knife, I'm just cutting my onion vertically and then turning it and making sure that the dices are fine. So here we go, adding one single damp paper towel underneath your cutting board can stop it from slipping and sliding around if you're on a smooth surface. And now we're gonna finally dice up our onion by rocking the blade back and forth on the cutting board um, various, various times until your desired texture and shape is achieved. And then we're gonna add that to the oats and black bean mixture and mix well. At this stage, you can turn your pan onto medium heat and add one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're going to add in our various spices to the black bean and oat mixture and then mix very well. You'll notice that the mixture has firmed up a bit, but that's totally okay and exactly what we want, considering we will not be adding an egg to this recipe. Mix everything very well through, and then we're gonna start forming our patties. I'm adding about a fourth of a cup of mixture into my hands and rolling it into a ball. Then watch closely how I form my patties. This is just a cool little trick that we learned in the teaching kitchen. And then you can go ahead and place them on your cutting board while you form the rest of your patties and then place them in your pan. I was able to form five patties with this mixture. I did half the recipe since it's just me, but feel free to use the entire recipe and you should make around 10 to 15 patties. After three to four minutes of cooking on one side, go ahead and flip your patties over and they should be a golden brown color. Then we'll let them cook a little bit longer, maybe four to five minutes on the other side, and then they're done. You can enjoy these black bean burgers by themselves, on a salad, or a classic way on a bun. Enjoy!